Here's how you can tell the difference between low back pain caused by a muscle or a disc. I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. Back pain is really common, but fortunately, it's often not a serious problem. In fact, most people recover within a few weeks or months with simple self-care steps. But you should see your doctor if your back pain doesn't get better after taking some of the steps we'll talk about or if it gets worse over time. But first of all, what are muscle and disc injuries to the lower back? Muscle strains caused when there's an injury to a muscle or tendon due to overuse or misuse. A disc herniation occurs when the one vertebrae moves forward and puts pressure on another vertebrae. This can cause inflammation around nerves that leads to pain in one of the legs and sharp pain, numbness, tingling, weakness in those areas. Now, the location of the pain can be helpful. Pain from a muscle strain is usually felt in the lower back, often in a somewhat diffuse pattern all around and across the back. But it usually stays in the back and doesn't go down one leg. On the other hand, disc, inju uh, disc issues and disc injuries often don't cause much pain in the lower back, but instead send pain down one leg. Maybe your problem started suddenly with no warning signs. If you had a sudden onset of back pain or you don't remember a specific injury, it could be a sign of a disc condition. This is especially true if you have no history of back problems and the pain is severe. You may have disc herniation or spinal stenosis, both conditions that require medical treatment. You could have numbness, tingling, or weakness in one leg. Numbness, tingling, or weakness in one leg indicate nerve compression. If you have those symptoms, it's important you see a doctor right away. Now again, as long as your symptoms are not severe and the symptoms seem to suggest a muscle strain, self-care can help relieve muscle soreness after exercise, improve flexibility over time so you don't develop chronic pain, whether that's ice, anti-inflammatories, or even working with a physical therapist, which can be really helpful to recover from a lumbar muscle strain more quickly than rest alone. If you're unsure of the cause of your back pain, seek medical advice from an orthopedic surgeon or spine specialist. The treatment for each type of problem is different, so it's important to know what's causing your symptoms. I'd love to hear about your back injury and your experience with that. Leave those comments below. Now, please understand, if you leave a question for me in those comments, I can't offer you medical advice, but I can try to answer your question in a future video. Please make sure to subscribe to my video channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video or start another live stream, including my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.